Hi, it's Tom, and tonight we're going to play Monopoly for the NES. Yeah, you heard me, Monopoly. The game you play with your family or your kids or your significant other, whoever. When you're bored and you don't necessarily like the other person as much as you think you do. I've never really been a huge fan of Monopoly itself, because... The original concept of the game was not really to win, it was to avoid winning, because if you're a monopolist, you're not necessarily a good person. And I'm sure there's some economist out there who's seething right now as I say that, but the whole concept is, do you really want to be the guy who bankrupts everybody else, puts people out in the street, just so you can own all of Atlantic City? And for what? For... Nobody else to pay rent because they don't have any money? I The the nature of the game changed a lot when um, the Parker Brothers got a hold of it. And the goal was to be the terrible person. You that made you the winner, which is how America works. Apparently. So, I don't like playing it with other human beings because then I have to be terrible to actual human beings. Um, I used to play this with my ex-wife because she liked it. I really don't understand why. Um, I think she just had good memories of playing with her family, like Scrabble as well. She was also very good at Scrabble and pretty good at Monopoly. Um, which is why I'm sure she's okay financially right now and has a far better vocabulary than I do. Um, and I'm broke and say fuck a lot. So the NES Monopoly. Why the NES Monopoly when there are decades... Two decades now of better Monopoly games than this. Uh, for various platforms, PC, there's ones you can play on the web. Uh, I saw a great one. The new Legacy guys were playing on PlayStation 4. It's beautiful. There's like this living city on the inside of the board. It moves very quickly. It plays quickly. You can play it online with all your friends. We're going to play the NES version. I like the NES version, and I'm not sure why. <laughs> I think it's the simplicity of it, the speed of the game, the fact that it obeys all the rules as they were in the late 1980s. Uh, this is either from 89 or 90, I can't remember. Uh, the, the kitschiness of the animations that we'll see in a little bit. Uh, and the, the voice samples, which mostly come from the police officer whose name I'm about to look up. Monopoly. Monopoly on violence. That sounds terrible. <laughs> yeah, everybody in the game has a name. The old guy, everybody just calls Mr. Monopoly now, which... That's not his name. His name's Rich Uncle Pennybags. I think the, the conglomeration of the game into Hasbro Toy Company, which there's only two toy companies left in the U.S. that aren't making, like, specialty action figures for nerds. There's Hasbro and Mattel. And Hasbro's got, like, all the board games. I don't know how they pulled that off. They, they scooped up Parker Brothers. They scooped up Milton Bradley. Uh, I think they scooped up the... The game, the people who make Cootie. Uh, I don't even remember who that is. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, they they changed it. That's where I was going with this. They changed Rich and Uncle Pennybags to Mr. Monopoly uh, because people are stupid. That's unfair. It's not that people are stupid. It's just that there's, there's no proper indicator in the game of the, the guy's name. Apparently it used to be known from advertising and just word of mouth, and eventually he just was the Monopoly guy. Um, and that devolved into Mr. Monopoly, which is... I'm not a huge fan of that name. I'm really not. Uh, the police officer and the criminal both have names. Uh, which I am attempting to locate now. <laughs> I remember Advanced to Boardwalk. That game was... I was, a, I was a kid in the 80s. I'm 35 years old now. Uh, the Advanced of Boardwalk came out in 1985. Everybody had a copy of it. I think I played it once and wasn't a huge fan. 
Uh, I I like the old Monopoly. You'll you'll notice here on this board if you've played Monopoly recently on a recently purchased set, uh, there's a couple of changes. Uh, they removed all math from the game, which is kind of annoying because that's kind of how I learned how to easily take 10% of something. And they changed the first two properties on the board to be colored brown instead of that shade of purple uh, that they are, I think, more to further distinguish them from the properties around the corner. I'm not a big fan of that because it seems like they're saying, oh, that's the brown neighborhood. Like, wait, what? No, 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 no. Bad, bad idea, bad idea. Uh, there's a whole article on Rich Uncle Pennybags on the Wikipedia. Uh, <laughs> the sad thing is it does not mention the names of the other characters, it seems. Uh, here we go. This is in 1988 in the Monopoly Companion. Uh, according to this, Uncle Pennybags' full name is Milburn Pennybags. The character who's in jail is Jake the Jailbird. Nice and simple. And the cop is Officer Mallory. Uh, if I happen to go to jail in this game, or if somebody goes to jail, I'll turn the volume back up briefly. Uh, because Officer Mallory speaks. It's, it's kind of cool. This being an old NES game, I can't just kill that terrible music, which... Let me remind you of what this is. Sorry. I'm so sorry. I can't strip the music out. It's just the way Monopoly games are. Um, that's a lot of ado. I've been talking for about eight minutes. I'm probably going to cut this down somewhat. Uh, let's play Monopoly. I'm going to play some AI players and... Drink some vodka and cranberries, because that's what I feel like tonight. Shut up. Let's go.